wait until you see the secret controller setting. For dead zones, if you get something called stick drift, you guys want to be using at least 10%. And if you don't get stick drift, you need to be using 5%. Next up is linear versus exponential. Turns out when using linear, you get more aim assist with an SMG up close. You get more aim assist with exponential when aiming down with a gun instead. So decide which one you prefer. When building, if you want the best sensitivity, it turns out all the pros use 2% exactly. And when you were editing, if you want to do it better and faster, it turns out all the pros actually use 2.2%. On average, most of the better players use their left stick as an actual edit bind and have disabled pre-edit option enabled. This is because at high speeds of editing, input delay can kick in. However, if you have this turned on, what this will do is actually reverse this and then you'll be able to edit and have no mistake. For ADS, most players like to be using around 9%, so that is what I'm going to recommend to you guys to use. In terms of boosts, remove all boosts as no pro actually uses this, so you may as well not use it. The secret setting I was talking about earlier is just coming up, so continue waiting. Make sure to turn vibrations off, that when you are shooting, the rumbles in your controller won't mess up your aim. In audio tab, you want to mute everything except sound effects, which want to be at 100%, and voice chat needs to be at 80%. Look speed, I want you to be using 45% for both. Now, for the secret setting you guys have been waiting for all video. Before I give you that, though, it turns out I'm only three subs away from the next thousand subs. So if you subscribe right now, you may turn it to the next thousand subs, which will be so fun. Also, like the video and comment best setting. All right, the secret setting I've been talking about all video. Some consoles have this, some don't. You want to go to your settings and actually check if you have this thing called foot controller. Now, if you turn this on and put both of the dead zones down to 1%, it will actually put your input delay lower than ever before, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Click this video up here. Trust me, there's something in it you need to see.